The city of Columbia is currently looking into a partnership with Burl Health to include mental health professionals in their first response team. City manager DeCarlin Seawood said last night that Burl was the only company to respond to the request for those services. ABC 17's Gabrielle Tyner looked into how a co-response team could benefit the community. Megan, Lucas, as police and the Highway Patrol are investigating a deadly shooting by an officer, the city is looking to pair mental health officials or co-responders with police to provide better mental health crisis management. Police say when officers arrived at the landing on Friday, 22-year-old Marquise Rivera was reported suicidal, shot rounds into the air and then at police officers. Police shot back, ultimately killing him, and now Rivera's family is wondering what more could have been done to help their son with his mental health crisis. He reached out for help two times. He reached out for them to help him, and they couldn't help him. They didn't help him. They could have. The city is currently trying to start a new co-responder initiative to help with situations like these. A co-responder is a trained and certified mental health crisis worker who aids police in responding to calls pertaining to mental health and other social service calls. They're not a replacement for the police, they're supplementary. So there's a lot of calls they handle on their own, but there's also a lot of calls they handle with police officers and with firefighters, paramedics. Um, they're just another resource in our toolbox. The Eugene Police Department in Oregon have been running its co-response program called CAHOOTS since 1989. And since, many departments nationwide are following their model. Boone County Commissioner Janet Thompson says a co-response team can assist in allowing police officers to do their jobs while they manage the mental health crisis. So when you have that co-response model, you can have public safety being addressed with the law enforcement officer and you have the co-responder who can address and, and really de-escalate situations based on their training. So it really combines the best of both worlds. Burl declined to comment today on the potential agreement. Gabrielle, thank you for that report tonight. The city is allotting a little under $600,000 to the program if that request is fulfilled.